Hey everybody, Saturday, June 13th, 2015. Thought I'd do a video on this uh, Mohu Leaf Ultimate Antenna that I'm going to be putting in the van. So, try to make this fairly quick here so it doesn't get drug out too far. But this is a picture of the box. It's sitting on my Dometic refrigerator, 12 volt refrigerator. And as you can see, I bought the factory refurbished version. This antenna is about 70 bucks if you buy it brand spanking new. I bought this off of Amazon and they have refurbished as well. Read good reviews on the refurbi refurbished uh, antennas and this one was like 40 bucks. So it comes in this box, Mohu, M-O-H-U, Leaf Ultimate, HD TV indoor amplified antenna. And once you remove it from the box, you end up with the antenna. It's paper thin. Extremely light. I mean, it almost weighs nothing. One side's black, one side is white. So that you can match the decor in your house is what it's designed for. And it has a couple of real tiny pinholes up here. It comes with four pieces of Velcro. Double-sided Velcro. And it also comes with some push pins. So there's several ways that you can mount it. Of course, I haven't got my mounted in the van yet, but I'll figure something out. Then it also comes with a USB adapter. So the uh, amplification part, amplifier is powered by, by, I think it's 5 volts USB. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to plug my... USB amplifier directly into the back of my 12 volt TV which just so happens to have a uh, USB port on it so I'm not going to need any inverter whatsoever to operate this thing um, or the TV and it comes with uh, I think this is a 16 foot cord 16 foot coax cable but I'm not using that either that's way too long so I have like a six foot piece that I'm going to use and I could probably get away with maybe a three or four foot and then the amplifier so it's got a, a coax input here that goes to your cable I'll show you that here in just a second and then it's got a pretty long cord here for the USB like if you have to plug it into a wall outlet but I'm going to leave this all tied up and secured because it's just going directly to the TV. And, and then this other end, actually this end here says to the TV. So this goes into the TV, into the back of the TV. This also plugs into the back of the TV. And then this end connects to your cord that goes to your, your uh, antenna. So that's it. That's all there is to it. This piece right here is the amplifier. I guess. Yeah. And uh, this thing's good for 50 miles. And it comes with a couple of instruction sheets that are whatever they are. You almost don't need instructions for this thing. It's so simple. So this end connects to your coax run this to the antenna that plugs right directly into the bottom of the antenna and then these two ends go to the TV or to your to your uh, 110 USB adapter which it comes with but I'm like I said I'm not going to be using that so that's the antenna uh, next thing I'm going to do is hook this up in the van and uh, make a video on my TV mount, which I do have figured out. So I'll show you that next. Hey, something I forgot to mention when I was talking about the antenna before I uh, install this thing is uh, some of you might be interested. I bought, like I said, I bought the refurbished version and it was saved me 30 bucks. And when I connected this to the TV in the house, uh, I got 28 channels and reception was awesome. It picks up HD, so I had, I don't know, maybe five channels of HD. And that's all 
completely dependent upon your uh, upon your location. And the cool thing about the Mohu M O H U dot com, if you go to their website and look up their antennas, they have several different types of antennas. But you can type in your zip code and your address, and the thing will give you uh, all of the channels that you should receive from your exact location if before you buy it so you can see if it's gonna be alright for you mine actually when I did that versus the actual test when I had it in the house came out exactly what they told me I was gonna receive 26 or 28 now I can't remember say uh, exact number of channels that they said I was gonna have so that at least for me their uh, website was pretty accurate as far as telling you what you can plan on receiving for your location with this antenna. All right, we'll get it put in the van and uh, take a look at the TV install.